This is another written questions for you. AV nodal delay. AV nodal delay, the delay in transmission of cardiac impulse from the atria to the ventricles caused by the AV node is called AV nodal delay. It is about 0.16 second. This is AV nodal delay. It may come as like short note in your written exam. Also may come like what is AV nodal delay, causes of AV nodal delay, and um, what are the significance of AV nodal delay. Here I am mentioning you the delay in transmission of cardiac impulse from the atria to the ventricle. That is atria theke, right atria among left atria theke, ventricle, that is right ventricle, left ventricle theke, kono rokom cardiac impulse that is action potential transmit, transmission ta ek to delay hoi. Kano hoi? Due to AV node. Ete hoche AV nodal delay. That is atria theke, ventricle, ashte cardiac impulse ta, je delay ta AV node er juno hoi, shetake amra bolsi AV AV nodal delay and total delay time which is 0.16 second. Later on, I will show you how I calculate this 0.16 second. The AV node is normally the only conducting pathway in the atria and ventricle. Causes of this delay, that is AV node hochi ki normally, normally only conducting pathway. Ita di amra ki bujachi, atria theke ventricle e action potential spread hoar jonno ek matru madhum hochi AV node. AV node chhara kintu right atrium, left atrium theke kono impulse AV node e ventricle e ashte parbe na. Karon ventricle e dhukte hole kar madhum e dhukte hobe through the AV node. So, AV node is normally the only conducting pathway between the atria and ventricle. Thale, atria is the ventricular connection. She connection to the atria and ventricle. The atria is the AV node. Thale, AV node is the AV node. The 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 AV node is the AV nodal fiber are short fiber and less gap junctions already I mentioned you. Due to this short muscle fibers in the AV node and less gap junctions in the AV nodal fiber causes this delay. Tale delay to keep having the calculation column finally one six seconds. See here from S node to AV node. Time is required to from S node to AV node conduction that is cardiac impulse generated in the S node and it transmitted from S node to AV node that is time requirement is 0 0.03 second and AV node itself before penetrating portion of AV bundle 0 0.09 second that is 0 0.09 second AV node itself take time so from S node to AV node that is time 0 0.03 second AV node itself time requirement is 0 0.09 second and penetrating portion of AV bundle 0 0.04 second. Now total summate these things. Please do summation here. 0 0.03 second, 0 0.09 second and 0 0.04 second. Total if you do summation here, finally you will get 0.16 second. In many books it mentioned as 0.1 second. So total delay time is 0.16 second. See the figure from your textbook. You have to draw this figure in your exam khata from your textbook Guyton and Hall 13th edition. See here from S node to A, from S node to AV node there is time requirement 0 0.03 second. Now from AV node itself it take time 0 0.09 second. From AV node penetrating portion of the uh, AV bundle it takes 0 0.04 second and finally if you summate these things that is 0 0.16 second. This is figure you have to draw this figure remember these things. Now, beneficial effects of AV nodal delay. Why this delay? Why uh, this delay occurs in cardiac muscle AV nodal delay? Of course, there is purposeful delay. Purposeful. God has given these things uh, due to beneficial for us. It will be benefit. It is beneficial for us, of course, because it ensures complete atrial contraction before ventricular contraction begins. That is, it ensures you that complete atrial contraction occurs before ventricular goes to 
contraction contraction means systol and uh, here contra systol means contraction and diastol means uh, the relaxation here it ensures complete atrial contraction before ventricular contraction begins and number second it allows sufficient time for the proper ventricular filling that is proper ventricular filling it gives you sufficient time if this av nodal delay gives time the heart for proper ventricular filling two things that is uh, it ensures complete atrial contraction before ventricular contraction begins and it allows sufficient time for proper ventricular filling for these two things uh, this av nodal delay is beneficial to us now we are uh, coming uh, last stage that is nerve supply of the heart already i think you have studied these things in anatomy thorax card nerve supply of the heart nerve supply that is effects of nerve stimulus sympathetic there are automotive autonomic nerve supply that is sympathetic and parasympathetic nerve supply to the heart effects of sympathetic stimulation on heart this is very very important mcq question and also written and viva question uh, the effects of sympathetic stimulation if sympathetic stimulation uh, give on heart there is one neurotransmitter release that is the norepinephrine which causes increase force of contraction which is also called positive inotropic effect that is force of contraction means positive inotropic effect please remember this thing positive inotropic effect means increase force of contraction increase heart rate that is positive chronotropic effect students please remember here chronotropic effect means heart rate that is positive chronotropic effect means increase heart rate number 3 increase conductivity that is positive dromotropic effect very very important for mcq question dromotropic effect that that is dromotropic effect related with conductivity so positive dromotropic effect means increase conductivity now last one positive bathmotropic effect bathmotropic effect it is related with increase excitability sympathetic excess accelerator and augmented uh, augmentation of heart that is it excess cardio accelerated effect on heart now effects of parasympathetic stimulation whenever parasympathetic stimulation occurs that is uh, through vagus nerves the one neurotransmitter release that is acetylcholine releases uh, from this vagus ending that is it causes decreased heart rate that is negative chronotropic effect i mentioned you chrono means heart rate that is negative chronotropic effect means decrease heart rate negative i know i know that is force of contraction that is negative inotropic effect means decrease force of contraction negative dromotropic effect means decrease conductivity negative bathmotropic effect is called decrease excitability and vagus excess cardio inhibitory cardio inhibitory that is inhibitors of the heart now i am discussing with you now two short question short note stocks adam syndrome and ventricular escape stocks adam syndrome from your textbook gaiton and hall i have taken these things uh, from uh, your textbook gaiton and hall 13th edition what what do you mean by stocks adam syndrome when the cardiac impulse fails to reach from atria to ventricle please listen to me very carefully whenever when cardiac impulse fails to reach from atria to ventricle that is in atria s node there is no problem in s node s node can generate its own impulse automatically and rhythmically but there is problem transmission of this impulse from atria to ventricle there is problem in the av node because already i mentioned in av nodal delay that av node is the only pathway for conduction of atrial impulse into the ventricle there is no other pathway present here that is in heart from atrial um, uh, action potential from atria to ventricle this action potential reaches through the av node so see here when the cardiac impulse fails to reach from atria to ventricle there is there is no problem in atria there is problem reaching of cardiac impulse into the ventricle a new pacemaker the time develops in the parkinji system at a rate of 15 to 40 beats per minute we knew that parkinji system always generates its impulse 15 to 40 beats per minute 
after sudden AB bundle block. When it occurs, if AB bundle block occurs, we know that AB bundle, the uh, AB node is the only pathway reaching impulse from atria to ventricle. When there is problem in the AB node or AB bundle block.